Coming up on the show, SMTV is live in the Cook Union covering the esports team. Their Rainbow Six Siege team are national champions, and SM2 reporter Kiara Malone gives us the inside scoop. With a 64 and 10 victory last Saturday, the Golden Eagles made it hell on earth for the Northwestern State Demons. News, weather, sports, and more begins right now on SMTV. From the Chuck Scarborough Television Studio on the campus of the University of Southern Mississippi, this is SMTV News, news you can use. Thank you for tuning into SMTV. I'm Kyra Lampley. And I'm Nathan Lee. On Monday, eSports awarded Rainbow Six Siege captain Joshua Mackey with the National Championship trophy. Mackey and his team won the National Rainbow Six Siege Championship back in the spring semester this year. Reporting live in the eSports arena, we have SM2 reporter Kiara Malone on the scene. Let's see what's going on down there. I'm here at the Eagle eSports arena, home to the Rainbow Six Siege champions. As you can see behind me, there are some players playing Valorant, Overwatch, Rocket League, and Super Smash Bros. With all of this hard work, it is no wonder how they became the national champions of the Rainbow Six Siege series. As competitive gaming is becoming more and more of the trend, the Eagle Esports players are working very hard this year. Each team is said to have practiced about three to four hours every day of the week in order to become the next national champions. Last spring, the Rainbow Six Siege team won the national championship with Joshua Mackey leading the team. Not only did they win, but on Monday, they were awarded with the Rainbow Six Siege Championship Trophy. I talked to Joshua Mackey about the rigorous schedule on preparing for the tournament. It's a balance, you know, practice and also finals too. But I mean, a lot of time definitely had to sacrifice other things like hanging out with friends, you know, just taking a day to nap. Like we, it was definitely a lot of hard work that had to go into preparing for this national championship. As the arena and their fans' excitement fills the air, the eSports players are even more motivated and dedicated to perfecting their gaming skills to keep their title as national champions. This season kicking off our Eagle eSports team is working hard as their competition starts tomorrow. We do wish them good luck as we want them to bring home another championship win. I'm Karen Malone from SM2 News. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Kiara. Joshua Mackey, Mackey will appear later again in the show along with eSports e coordinator David Deckert for this week's community calendar interview. High school marching band members from around the state gathered for the annual All-South Marching Band Day on Saturday. <laughs> High schoolers the opportunity to play alongside college band members and experience what it is like to practice and play for a college marching band. Even entire high school marching bands from Pedal and Biloxi joined the festivities, which lasted from 11 to 9.30 p.m. The highlight for the high schoolers was going on the field with the Pride of Mississippi marching band during the halftime show. While the Golden Eagle football teams had a field day, so did they. Blend Smoothie Bowl has made its home on the University of Southern Mississippi. They made their debut this fall on campus. Their food truck is located in the courtyard outside of the library. Since August, the Blends has enticed students and SMTV staff alike with their smoothie bowls and other healthy food options. So Blends Bowls, we basically offer smoothies, smoothie bowls, acai, we offer some coffees, we offer like protein powders and different types of like protein options, we offer like collagen and different things. Blends has been in business for over two years and has many locations in the South and other universities. Coming up next, we have a few big stories in our Flash News Briefing, including one, one affecting Hardy Street. And there is a lot going on in USM Athletics. Maya Evans has everything you need to know in this week's installment of the SMTV Sports Recap. But before then, let's take a quick look at the weather.
Visit HubCityHoedown.com to find your tour dates and live music events for all your favorite local bands. Or submit your own local event on our website. That's HubCityHoedown.com. Your live music in the Berg. Check out our newest design for our Adcock Pool and Spa website. Explore the new look and feel. Build your perfect poolscape in the comfort of your home with our in-ground pool wish list. Choose from different features including pool type, shape, depth, and exquisite style with our outdoor landscape options. With Adcock Pool and Spa, you're in control. Visit us at adcockpoolandspa.com or at any of our three locations. Adcock Pool and Spa, we are in the fun business. There are a couple of things in and outside of Hattiesburg that you need to know about here. Here is your SMTV News Flash Briefing. The Hattiesburg Police Department responded to an incident off of Hardy Street on September 20th, 2022 around 7 p.m. 24-year-old employee Brianna Sadu, wife of the owner of the Crispy Crunchy Chicken, drove through the storefront. Once the police arrived on scene, police took Brianna Sadu into custody after it was revealed that she intentionally drove her car through the Crispy Crunchy Chicken. It has been revealed that she told the employees in the establishment at the time she was going to commit this crime as a warning to get out of the way. Brianna was charged with a felony with malicious mischief, according to the Hattiesburg Police Department, and was booked into the custody in the Forest County Adult Detention Center. Thankfully, there were no injuries reported. The University of Southern Mississippi paid $1.75 million to get out of Conference USA. This is according to documents signed by the president of USM, Marshall University, and Old Dominion. So the Miss Student Media and other news outlets requested documents containing this and other information over six months to receive the confidential settlement agreement and mutual release statements today. This caps off a continuous yet ambiguous ordeal between CUSA and these three universities. More information along with the 13-page document is available for viewing on the sm2media.com. The death toll across Iran following protests have risen to six. These deaths stem from protests in response to a 22-year-old woman who died in police custody. Masha Amini was that 22-year-old. She was initially arrested by Iranian special police because she violated a dress code for women within the country. Due to circumstances that are still largely mysterious, she fell into a coma and later died. Words from Iran's supreme leader on Iranian state TV this week did not address the unrest. Citizens are not the only ones making a statement. Hacking organizations announced on Twitter Tuesday that operations targeting Iranian government websites have begun. A lot of big time sports news happening over the week. There was USM football first win of the season, the men's golf team taking home first place honors, and the soccer team first win this school year. Golden Eagles football get the job done by blowing out the Demons 64 to 10. Let's send it to Austin Lindsay. So the Miss got out on the right track this week with a dominating victory against Northwestern State 64. To 10. Defensively, we played lights out. Offensively, we had a really explosive day, 588 yards on 71 snaps where we played everybody on our team. Uh, you know, that was a t game we were supposed to win. We spent all week concentrating on eliminating mistakes. Coming into the week, Zach Wilkie will be named the starter for the Golden Eagles at quarterback. After a 6-0 lead, quarterback Ty Keys would come in for Wookie and explode the offense with a 40-yard touchdown to Jakarius Caston, who would tiptoe down the sideline in the end zone, making it 13-0 Golden Eagles in the first. It felt different. Like, the first touchdown was like, I thought I stepped out of bounds, so I was just trying to jog down the sideline. I thought that was out, but I kept going. It was like, the crowd just, like, the crowd told me, see, I was still in. 
After a scoop and score by the Golden Eagles at 20 to zero, the Golden Eagles will tack on two more touchdowns and close out on a 89 yard reception by Jalen May from Ty Keys on a slant route to make it 41 to zero at half. And that will pretty much do it for the game. Since I got hurt from Liberty, it gave me a lot of confidence. Just get out there and play my game, be myself, and just relax and calm down. It was a good step in the right direction of doing what we're supposed to do. So when we play a great opponent next week like Tulane, we know we can do that. And if it's close at the end, we've done it before. You know what I mean? So there's a, a little more confidence there. Defensively to start the game, the Golden Eagles for seven straight three and outs, allow 16 rushing, two takeaways, and four sets. Ponder Mason Hunt was announced as one of race eight for the Ray God Award. His performance was definitely noticed. He finished the day against the Demons with a 44.3 yard per punt average on the four punts and two inside the 10 yard line. The Golden Eagles now have a road test in NOLA against Tulane Waves at 6 p.m. Also, Zach Wilkie is the starting quarterback for the third time. The Southern Miss Men's golf team was able to take home the team championship at the 2022 Jim Rivers in Collegiate. Pat Radanayanan stole the show as posted as final round of 70 and hit a tournament winning putt to capture individual medalist honor the Jim Rivers in the Collegiate. The Golden Eagles golf team gets started again on September 26 to 27 at the Old Town Club Interlegion hosted by Wake Forest. Soccer Golden Eagles won their first game in the conference beating Marshall 3-1. Ryan Smith got the, got the action going with a score just halfway through the first period. It would not be until late in the second period when the Golden Eagles would score two goals assured they win over Marshall. Esmeralda Farire would against on the two goals of the match enough to earn herself some belt offensive player of the week. The Golden Eagles had face Louisiana Monroe on September 22nd at 7 p.m. Now it's time to announce the fourth street player of the week who is Jacarius Caston. Caston finished the day with 94 receiving yard on six recession with two touchdowns which was enough to make him the fourth street player of the week. Caston fellow receiver Jalen Mays received an 89 yard touchdown which is the week's play of the week. He made his first collegiate catch that led to a touchdown. If you want a more in-depth look into Southern Miss sports, listen or watch the Fourth Street Sports Show 88.5 FM or the Southern Miss Student Media YouTube channel. This has been SMTV Sports Recap. Back to you. Thanks, Maya. Coming up next, a student is doing what she can to inform the university community about seizures. Plus, community calendar anchor Asia Wade sits down with some of the movers and shakers within the USM Esports program. Be sure to stick around after the break. For news, weather, sports, and more, follow Southern Miss Student Media on all of our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Visit HubCityHoedown.com to find your tour dates and live music events for all your favorite local bands. Or submit your own local event on our website. That's HubCityHoedown.com. Your live music in the Berg. Sitting next to you has a seizure. Well, you know what to do. One student on campus is doing what she can to make sure your answer to that question is yes. SM2 reporter Garrett Grove shows how she creatively informs others about seizures. Kayla Myers is a regular college student. The junior special education major stays occupied with classes and college life. She also stays busy informing others about seizures. She does it through her website, which initially began as a class assignment. And I chose seizures because you never know who may have a seizure or a seizure condition. 
She discusses in detail her journey of dealing with seizures. She also provides a plethora of information about the condition. It includes do's and don'ts of first aid measures, types of seizures one can have, and more. For those who learn about these things from Meyer's website, it may come in handy. However, lack of awareness is still a problem. Last semester, I had a seizure on campus and didn't nobody know what to do. And I was seizing at least five minutes. No one knew what to do when Meyer's seizure happened. However, this website has made it into the curriculum of some professor's classes at USM. This seeks to ensure that what happened last semester to Myers doesn't happen again. Garrett Grove, SM2 News. You can find out more information about seizures in Myers' personal story on www.kaylakakes, spelled K-A-H-L-A-K-A-K-E-S, dot wixsite dot com. Now we go to Asia Way for the community calendar. Good evening, my name is Asia Wade and welcome to Southern Miss Television Community Calendar for this upcoming week. Join IME as they celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Kicking off the celebration, Abelar, which will be held in the Campus Recreation Center 20, September 27th for 6 p.m. Another event IME will be showcasing for Hispanic Heritage Month is Symphonia that will take place September 29th in Benedict Auditorium for 7.30 p.m. SMAC will, SMAC will be hosting an indoor laser tag September 30th from 5 to 9 p.m. at Trent Lott National Center Room 103 A through D. Mark your calendars for the USM Marketing and Engagement as Student Organization. This is a leadership workshop that will be held September 27th, 1 to 2 p.m. in Union Room C. Before we close out the show, let's take a look at the community calendar interview with Joshua Mackey and David Dicker. All right, well, hello, my name is Joshua Mackey. I am a junior here at Southern Miss, majoring in computer science. I've been a part of the eSports program for about two and a half years now, coming up on three years. My roles within the eSports include lead graphic designer, eSports staff member, eSports leadership, and also the Rainbow Six Siege coach and captain of the team. Okay. Uh, yeah, my name is David Dickert. I'm the USM eSports coordinator. I run the program with the help of a lot of great people who basically keep it running every day. Um, been in eSports for close to a decade as a player, uh, going through college, and then now uh, where, where I am now, I guess, yeah. Okay. And um, what... What attracted you guys to eSports? What made you want to be a part of the team? Ooh, I mean, I've been a gamer since, oh my goodness, about almost 10, 12, almost 20 years now. Mm -hmm. I remember my first game system was a Nintendo that my dad used to own. And ever since I played it, this has been just something I've always enjoyed as a hobby, as a passion of mine. And, you know, I mean, without that Nintendo, I probably wouldn't be in the position. I don't know where I would be without that Nintendo console, but I've pretty much been a gamer for almost... 20 years of my life. Okay. Kind of the same for me. Um, yeah, no, I'm a nerd through and through. <laughs> and so pretty much anything from reading to anime, manga, pop culture, comics, video games, uh, pretty much all of that mm -hmm. is encapsulated in, in things I like to do. And so, I mean, I've been gaming every day for like... Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> I, I don't want to say how long, but it's been a while. Okay, so growing up as kids, what's, what was your go-to game? Like, what was your favorite game? Wake up in the morning, I'm on the, I'm on the sticks. Mario Bros. Like, Mar Super Mario is just my favorite game of all time. I will stay on that hill until, you know, I die. Mario is <laughs> just one of my favorite games of all times. In particular, I would say Super Mario Bros. 3 on the Nintendo. Favorite game. I put so much time into that game. I mean, if I could play it again, I would. So Super, Bar Super Mario Bros. 3 would be my favorite game. 
Yeah, mine's Halo, hands down. <laughs> uh, my dad had a projector screen, and we lived in a cul-de-sac, and so he would throw the projector up in the middle of the cul-de-sac, we would lock it down, and all of the neighborhood kids would come around and we'd all play Halo on this massive projector. Mm -hmm. um, it was great. We also did that with like Guitar Hero Rock Band when that was huge. Um, I feel like I'm dating myself, but I'm not. <laughs> but it was still like early 2000s. So like it's not that long ago, but for you guys, I probably seem like a boomer. But uh, <laughs> for me, it was like it was so not too long ago, right? Uh, I don't know. Um, okay. Halo. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Asia, for that awesome interview. But I got I got to uh, address the elephant in the room, y'all. What about crispy, crunchy chicken? How does that happen? I guess Man. the food's so good, make you want to drive into yeah. the building. That's why. I'm <laughs> good gosh, she they did got what little, she yeah. had to do. Hey, yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't be messing with no woman hunger. That's what you said. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, get it. I, get I still it. can't believe she did that. That's yeah. just crazy. Crazy, you know. Man. That's one of those things, you know. It's just you know, let let her do her thing. I guess thing. she'll do anything for love. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, well, love got to do oh. with it. <laughs> 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 well, that's our show. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching SMTV this week. If you want to stay in the loop for all things SMTV, be sure to subscribe to the Southern Miss Student Media on YouTube. The rest of that interview with David Dicker and Joshua Mackey will also be on our channel. You will sure be able to find a new episode of the show every Wednesday evening. But hey, it was fun being a news anchor this week. I'll be back behind the sports decks soon enough. I'm Nathan Lee. I'm Kyra Lampley. I'm Asia Wade. And I'm Maya Evans. As always, start the miss to, to the, the top! top. Yay! the latest SMTV news episode? Find us and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Southern Miss Student Media. Listen to Southern Miss today, Monday through Thursday on WUSM. Get all of your local, regional, and national news, weather, sports, and more on Southern Miss today. News you can use. If you would like to advertise with Southern Miss Student Media, give us a call today at 601-266-4258 or reach out to Justin Martin at wilbur.martin at usm.edu. Visit HubCityHoedown.com to find your tour dates and live music events for all your favorite local bands. Or submit your own local event on our website. That's HubCityHoedown.com. Your live music in the Berg.